Now, they were one of the symbols of the boom dominating the skyline of Celtic Tiger Ireland. But today, 15 cranes belonging to one of the country's former leading property developers went under the hammer in County Dublin. They were among hundreds of pieces of machinery and equipment from the construction industry that were auctioned off to bidders from Ireland, the UK and Europe. The international bidder now 11,000 bid. Here now 11,000 bid now selling away now 11,000 bid. I'm selling her 11,000 bid once, twice. He's out. Third and last. Online gets it. Online. Sold for €11,000 at auction today, a Wolf Tower crane, which undoubtedly made its mark on the country's skyline during the Celtic Tiger years. It was one of 15 cranes up for auction today, belonging to a former Dublin property developer, a further signal of the halt in Ireland's construction industry. These are the cranes that uh, we saw for the last decade uh, peppering the skies of Dublin City and further afield, and now they're being bought and going to new homes. This is the second crane auction that has taken place here in the past number of weeks. And while there may not be the same demand for cranes here in Ireland, they're much sought after in the UK and in mainland Europe. Prices, in my opinion, are a bit slightly cheaper than the rest of Europe for one reason or another. But still, you have to consider that what you're paying here, you have to pay VAT on top of that and the commission that they are charging. So altogether, it's still, it's still an acceptable price, in my opinion. The demand from abroad has led to an appreciation in the value of second-hand machinery here over the past year, which is why some owners are choosing to sell. People were sitting for a long time with no machinery moving and yards and stuff. Now it's all starting to move. And uh, the second-hand value of second-hand vehicle or machinery has gone up due to that, the demand across the world. Here now in the hall now, 37, 38, 38 again now, 38, 39. Wilson say there'll be another auction of cranes in four to six weeks' time. Alva Keneally, RTE News.